Hey, what's up guys? Jimbo's Customs here. Today, we'll be taking a look at my Batman Custom Unmasked, so let's get to it. So let's walk you through what I did to achieve this. So, as you can see, I've redone his face. All I did for that was with shoe polish, believe it or not. Watered down some brown, watered down some black, a few passes over, and it's given it that bit of life compared to what it used to look like. For the body, I washed it all in black shoe polish, let it dry, and then I got a scourer with some warm water and just gently went away at the armour pieces just to give it that sort of worn look in the corners and after that dirtied up his boots a little bit with some burnt sienna watered down that let it dry it gives it quite a nice um, effect I think for the sort of silver scuffing I've done along his suits, gauntlets and pieces up here, I used some silver rub and buff and I just dry brushed just to bring out some of the highlights and then went into these silver bits on his belt buckle. Also added articulation mod. So you can get a really good range of movement on this guy now compared to what he used to be. Added a thigh cut, which I think McFarlane should do on most of their stuff to be honest, because you can't really tell it's there, but it makes such a difference. And I've added some little bits to his belt which weren't on the original figure so this flare I've added and his holster with his little gun in and also this cape look at that much much better because this is what it used to look like used to have this cape on As you can tell, massive, massive difference. This is just a big piece of plastic. And this is a cloth. And you also added some bendy wire, which goes down the seam. I showed you how to do that on one of my previous videos. But pretty much, some wire for the bottom here. And you just feed it through, basically. And uh, then you have a bendy bendy wire in your cape so for all the bits I used I demolished this guy here which is a bendy fig from the Batman film so as you can see taking off his holster here taking off his flare gun here and I've added them onto here this guy also came with this cape and I've, I've, I'll tell you what, I, I absolutely love this cape, it's so so good. I'm tempted just to stock up on them and just add them to all my Batman figures going forwards. Drapes really nice, really nice material. So yeah, nice little short one for you. Let me know what you think. Like I say, it wasn't too hard to do. He still got all his standard articulation. Well, I think I've improved him. Let me know what you think. Oh, also, the head from this guy decapitated him. And I've hollowed out the bottom here. 
So it gives him a cow, oh, a cow to hold on to, which is a nice, nice touch. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. I do really appreciate it. And if you like what you see and you want to see more content like this, don't forget to like, follow and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.